Hello friends. So I have been planning on doing a library tour, bookshelf tour, since I moved into this house, which at this point is nearly one year ago. So like, it's not laziness and procrastination. It is procrastination. It's not laziness because I'm very busy, but it's also that feeling that we all have about our bookshelves and our libraries of having everything be just exactly finally perfect the way we want it before we film. I've been saying this for one year now. And guess who's not gotten it perfect in that year? So I figured let's take a little bit of time in this video to reorganize some things, get them comfy, cozy the way I like them, and get my library in tip top shape as to how I like to view it. And then I can give you guys the bookshelf library tour. So I think I'll quickly just give you like a teeny little overview, like quick little swirl around and then we'll get into the first part of this video which is going to be moving all of my TBR unread books off of the built-in bookcases putting those on my TBR cart I have purchased another TBR cart to put all of my book haul books on because I don't like piles sitting around my house I don't like clutter I don't like chaos I like everything neat and organized I also think I might remove the chair from this room because no one ever sits in it besides the cat at this point and that way I can put the TBR carts over there to store more books so I also will need to move some of the young adult series up to the top level I am running out of room there but I can take the stacked books and flip them up to the ceiling to make a little bit more room so that's sort of the game plan of what we're going to be doing and I'll film all of it for you guys along the way first of all the library is the cat's favorite place to be uh, Owl Fox, I think, stepped out right before I started filming, but Miss Ronnie Bear and Carly Kins absolutely love it in here. So this is what I was speaking about. This is my previous TBR cart. Right now, it is filled with my book haul books. It's always just been my book haul books for the most part. I've never really put on read true TBR shelf books, and then there's some random like book sleeves and annotating supplies down there. This is the chair that Carly sleeps in 24 seven. So I can just leave the pillow cat bed. Yeah, get rid of the chair to give a little bit more space in here. Here's the new TBR cart. And I did get this cool little shelf topper for the top of it since I don't think I need three full shelves for a book haul cart since those two are gonna swap. So as of right now, these are the two. Carly, I'm gonna move these to the side just a bit, okay? Come on. Thank you. When we're taking a look at these shelves, not too much has changed. I mean, I've hauled more books since New York. Graphic novels, manga, a little sci-fi and fantasy, some classics and such. So this and this are like the unread books on my TBR shelf with some graphic novels and manga. So I just need to take off that little corner and put it on this shelf, put together this cart and then rearrange because I'll have a shelf and a half because it drives me insane that there are some spots like this where the books are sideways. So let's just do a brief little overview. Let me zoom out. When you walk in the room, the couch and TBR cart are immediately to the left. This is filled with mostly young adult fantasy. This is filled with thrillers and horror. That's middle grade. Young adult is also all above the top. Special editions books, adult fantasy. And then on this side, we have currently some TBR classics, manga and graphic novels, poetry and nonfiction, literary fiction, and more adult or more adult sci-fi and fantasy. So brief little library overview for you guys. And let's see what we can do to get it looking nice and in shape. Step one, remove the book haul books and replace them with my unread TBR shelf books. I chose a very bad timing to film this video with how sunny it is so I apologize for that but now this right over here is all these books have been read so we have one whole shelf now that there's room and like two-thirds of a shelf maybe that there's room because all of these TBR let me see if I can rotate this okay now you can see a little bit better so all of these TBR books that are unread are on the cart now which makes me 
so super happy. So if you can't see, here on the bottom is all the graphic novels and manga with the little bit of sci-fi fantasy I have. Here on this shelf, we have some classics, nonfiction, and some short story collections. And then here on the top are my New York book haul books that I am most excited to read that I plan to prioritize first and foremost. So here are all of my unread books off those shelves. And let's get to building that second TBR card. By the way, I just get these cards from Michael's, the Lexington three-tier carts. And then this is um, the proper cart cover compatible with the Lexington cart. these cards is they're so easy to put together it takes so little amount of time matches. Uh, here are my book haul books with this topper that I can put plants on or whatever I feel like. So now we've got the book haul cart built, the TBR cart shelf loaded up, more empty space on the bookshelf. So now we just need to actually reorganize the books. It's been a couple days, but I think the first thing I'm going to do is reorganize the shelves behind me to make the manga and graphic novels take up the entire bottom row so that I can like feature some face out maybe because I feel like that makes the most sense because could I possibly squeeze them on two shelves yeah but I have a whole bunch more manga and graphic novels on my TBR cart and I know I will read more in the future so then I will just have to rearrange everything later if I don't allow for more space now so let's do that annoyingly hard to do but I've got all the manga over here and all the graphic novels over there and they're definitely spaced out with like face outs and things so that it'll be much easier to add the manga and graphic novels once I read them and then I took the couple single volume editions of the Star Wars graphic novels that I've already read and added them to my Star Wars shelf over here so I'll show you guys quickly. I put these here this I still do need to read this I've already read all my Star Wars books on this shelf and there are the series I read, a couple random ones at the end. And then once I read more of my Junji Ito collections, I'll add them here. Same thing with the Fruits Basket, because the ones that are on my TBR are Fruits Basket and Junji Ito for the most part. And then over here, we just have some face out graphic novels. I'm going to get the rest of the Heartstopper editions volumes and then a couple of my favorite over to the left of course lion cat and katara so let's zoom up i think it'll stay like that for a little while now we can begin organizing the books so i haven't made any progress since last time that i talked to you guys which was probably a week or two ago i'm going to work on this area right now i truly do not know how i want to organize these books but i think the main thing i'm going to focus on for this moment in time is just spreading my classics out through here and then giving them like enough space i'm not putting any more down here with the graphic novels and manga like i said before i need to put all this stuff from my tbr cart over there once i finish it so let's work on spreading out the classics and then we'll go from there. Okay, it turns out that actually there was a ton of fantasy on the classics shelf. 
So I don't really need more than that one shelf for classics, but I do know that I need more than a teeny tiny shelf for nonfiction. So let's rearrange that. So that is poetry shelf now, and then I think I need an entire shelf for nonfiction. So that is a nonfiction shelf. There's a lot of front facing things now, but I feel like why not do that? Just so it leaves a little bit more room for later on. Now I have piles of books on the floor and I need to figure out what to do with those. I might try to do a rainbow shelf. Should we try? Okay, so I've been trying to take fantasy, rearrange it up there, move most of my literary fiction contemporary to this side and fantasy to that side because it drives me insane having it split up. So a little bit of progress so far. Lots of piles of books on the floor that need to go somewhere. So we're not done yet. This is why I've been putting this video off for months now because reorganizing your library well, it's a privilege, is annoying AF, and I'm ready to be done, and I've only been doing it for like less than an hour, but I feel as though I've made some progress. So let me turn you guys around so you guys can see. So there's one fantasy shelf remaining up here, but I'm fine with that for now. I've rearranged some things. Here's the classics, poetry. These are some of my favorite books. All fantasy, manga, graphic novels, nonfiction, all literary fiction. This shelf has not changed and will not need to change until I get the eighth book and the the ninth book in the expanse. When that comes out in paperback, it might already be out. And then there's four shelves worth of books, like four mini shelves that need to go back up on top here. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to take a little break, eat some lunch and cool down for a second because the library is the hottest room at my house. And then we'll get back to it because it's a it's a disaster in here. I don't know why I have so many books. I mean, I do know why it makes me very happy, but I need a break. Okay, you guys, one more thing. I bought this rug, there's Carly Cat, and I can't decide if I like it better than that rug, um, which is not staying there. It's just momentarily sitting there because I don't know what to do with it for right now. So I don't know what to do. I'm almost considering replacing that rug with that rug in the living room temporarily because why not switch things up and leaving this because I'm a leopard print pup. I love leopard print. My boyfriend hates animal print. I don't care. <laughs> I said, you're dating the wrong girl. He said, we're not breaking up over animal print. Um, so anyways, I love it in here. I have always loved animal print, especially feline related animal print. I think the kitties love it. What do you think? Because I had bought this really like super stretchy soft blanket and I don't know. So that's my dilemma as of right now. I guess by the end of this video, you'll see which one I've chosen. Okay guys, I think this is gonna be all she wrote for now. I will do a more in-depth library tour later on, but here's coming in my newer book carts over here. I'll kind of go over everything. I ended up getting away with not having to add more books to the top shelf right now, which I'm super proud of. I unhauled a couple things, just barely any, because I'm not ready to part ways with the majority of my collection yet. Um, and then as you can see over here, there's some room to grow because, I mean, you have to have spaces to put the books. And then down here, my manga is packed. So the only thing is there's a couple unread manga and graphic novels right over there. So let's zoom in a bit. When you walk in, here we have my pressing TBR cart. So my unread books on this shelf that I will be prioritizing and getting to very soon. Over here are some unhauled books, some books I'm currently reading and some books that need to be hauled, which are a secret. And then when we come to this shelf, zoom out real quick. So these two shelves right here, we start at the bottom and we have some overflow fantasy and sci-fi that is adult fiction as well as thriller, mystery, horror. This section right here is kind of young adult, kind of adult. So we just have overflow adult stuff. We have my beloved Star Wars collection my Stephen King collection, my middle grade with a couple random 
young adults. Let's move over here to these two shelves, which are almost entirely, I believe, young adult books. So all the young adult series that I have read over the years, some of my favorites up here in contemporaries. Zoom out again. And this shelf really didn't change at all. Some of my favorite series, fantasy adult series, I should say. So starting at the bottom, a lot of these I have read since I started my channel. So you guys would have seen my reading journey. And then last but not least, these three shelves. So conglomeration here. So over here, this is almost entirely adult SFF, just random books and series. Brandon Sanderson's books that don't match that drive me absolutely insane. Some series I've started and then this very bottom shelf here is my graphic novels and manga that I have read. Moving to the middle, I've read half on this side, not read this half. My poetry. These are just some standout books that I love here in the middle. Obviously, Lord of the Rings, some sci-fi, some more fantasy series. And then when we get to this third and final shelf, this is all more contemporary so contemporary literary thriller things like that so some thriller horror mystery that i've read it is paranormal but i'm still including it over here because it's not like exactly fantasy some nonfiction, and then just literary fiction that i have read historical fiction things like that translated books and then my classics and up here if you recognize any of those titles, my beginning of booktube days, all those young adult series. This is like my prize possession collection. This book right here, Steven Erickson sent me himself from his collection and signed um, a couple of random copies of books I really love and things that people have sent me. I used to be a mega Harry Potter fan because it helped me through some really dark times. So I've got a million of them there and OG booktube series all up here. So before I get to do the library tour, I will be putting some more effort into finishing up this art wall. And I actually think I'm going to rearrange some of this Mia art, which you really can't see because of the windows right there. And I've added this in here too, which a friend sent me, which I think is pretty neat. So I need to work on that. And we will do a detailed tour later on. Comment and tell me if you guys want that. Okay, guys, that is all I have for you for this organization video. Please do let me know if you guys would like a more in-depth library tour, like a bookshelf tour, old school. My last one that I did on the channel in 2020, I did a very detailed pulling all the books off the shelf to go over each and every one. I fear that that would take me three years to do, but I would love to hear like what type of book tours you guys like to see. Do you like just a broad overview? Let me know those things in the comments. And if you have any genius ideas for sorting these shelves that I didn't think of yet, please tell me in the comments. Let me know if you guys like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.